Yeah, boy, you shot, shorty. Fuck out on him. Oh, he's shot. Look. Fuck out. Fuck out. What's going on? It's my life in the shot. I'm your host, Donald Washington. Downtown Chicago, Millennium Park. Are we shocked? Are we surprised? We watched this all last year. Kids going down there acting a plum fool. And here we go. 16-year-old Shondell Holiday was hit senseless. One of his biggest goals was, check this, to live to see 21. Wow. Also, $20,000 reward for all of Philly's unsolved thoughts that go on out there. Here, $5,000. Also, I'm going to bring you guys that Philly, they had a 37% clearance of homicides, which is very low and going down. At one point, they had 65%. We, in some years, had less than 10%, and most of those that we have more than 50% do not lead to an arrest. I'm going to also bring you guys Inglewood again on camera. Inglewood again on camera. Inglewood is counting 15 total, and the leading is Austin. We only in the middle of May. I'm also bringing you guys how Philly. They bring all of their homicides, all of their crimes, and they are literally actively trying to solve them all. Here's why I'm so passionate. A lot of people say, Dag, bro, Dag, homie, you super passionate. This is why that code of silence that sit back and do nothing. This is why I'm so passionate. Take a look. Take a very long look. This is the product this is what happens with our dysfunction when we sit back and do nothing. I even, one of my shows said something like, I would bring back Stop and Frisk. And people jumped to my inbox. Ooh, ooh, yeah, I would do that. I would. If I got to give up my, 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 uh, my uh, uh, convenience to save one baby, we got way too many guns out there on the streets. And this is what happens. A lot of people sit back and just put their head down. And then it comes right on their doorstep. This nine-year-old, Jeremiah Ellis. Overnight, Miss Skokie. And another one wounded. I'm going to bring you guys that story. Of course, I'm not going to bring you everything just yet. Another young man on camera. 16 year old, story is going to read, 16 year old Shondell, holiday, Millennium Park at the Bean. All right, so they're saying this is a trend on May 14th. The trend is what teens are calling a large gathering, organizing, flooding social media to come dress nicely, hang out, dance, and record downtown. These gatherings also encourage teens to show up representing their gangs, allegedly. I'm just reading it as it's put out there. Gangs fight, run in traffic, and even taunt police. Several of these events prove deadly. Some of parents were seen picking up their teens once they found out on social media news reports what was going on. Two are in custody. All right, so they had two people in custody. They did charge. One young man, 17, felony count, aggravated, felony count. This is it. They got one young man in custody. And for what? And for what? Y'all should be going downtown trying to holler at the little ladies downtown. That's what it was once upon a time. That's what gatherings was for. You should be more focused on the young ladies out there. What is y'all still fighting for? And in this case, I don't know what happened. They showed a little incident before, but it could be some young men are down there. Not all of them are bad. Some of them are hanging out. But then some comes causing trouble, acting a fool, and you got to defend yourself. 
You got to defend yourself. You got to stand up for yourself. Some of these little cowards don't even know how to box and fight. So they, instead of fighting, they pull out, pull that out. And it's unfortunate that two lives are ruined. Philly, their homicide rate, they're offered $20,000. Here, $5,000. And guess who putting that $5,000 up in our communities? Father Flager. He got a $5,000 reward for everybody, for every one of these that happened for Father Flager. $5,000. They got $20,000, and this is coming from the city. Us, um, the increase in violence. Philly off the map right now. Off the map. They only had not even half the size of us, and they are recording just through the roof. They're recording just through the roof. This one, this young man, they just rolled right up on him. They saw him. And this code of silence. This ain't just here. How many people saw that license plate? How many people saw them and said nothing? I'll also bring you guys. This is going to read. 17-year-old Jalen Mims on the 6900 block of South Ada, Inglewood. Mayor Lloyd Lightfoot, y'all, is offering... Up to $450. $450 for everyone who puts up cameras. We have to save ourselves. Some activists or whatever were mad at Mayor Lloyd Lightfoot for putting a curfew. Huh? I ain't glad she put a curfew. If I was her and I wouldn't even be mad at the Superintendent David Brown or Mayor Lloyd Lightfoot or even Prisker to say, hey, here's who I don't want to come down here. Here's what you, if you look like this, I don't want you downtown. I wouldn't even be mad. You would see me be like, hey, uh, that makes two of us. Because our kids go down there and act a plum fool. I don't see nobody else's kids in majority like that, acting a plum fool like that. But I see our children. It is what it is, honestly. You can duck and dodge it. You can call it discrimination. You can call it whatever you want. Facts are facts at the end of the day. You just got to face the facts. A lot of people try to duck and dodge around the facts, but it is what it is. It's our children. It ain't theirs. <sighs> Look at this. Look at that. Inglewood and Austin. And these and the cameras I'm bringing you guys. Alan Woodard, 34 years old, sit on the 6500 block of South Ashland. This is really literally right by the other one. South side, May 14th. It's hot outside, y'all. I used to criticize people once upon a time when they moved out of our communities and moved to somebody else's communities and that's what happened it's a flight when we move in everybody else moves out and they like i ain't trying to deal with that i'm gone and we move and move some of these communities man they know where to set up cameras and, and i'm bringing you guys the cameras from 2019 this is two years ago there's more out there Camera right there. Um, nine year old. This story's gonna read one child is gone. Skokie. Police are saying around 12.08 a.m. They responded to a 911 call. Shots fired inside of an apartment building, 4700 block of Main Street. Office is located. Nine. And a six year old. They just enter the block in our communities. Get a ring doorbell camera. Get five of them. Get ten of them. This code of silence. This is what and why and the result of this code of silence. This is the result. Children today got way more guns. See, homeboy jumped out with a chopper in Philly, man. It's 
It's off the map in Philly. Honestly, I follow Philly Channel. Psh, psh, bruh, I did. This is actually a screenshot from like um, seven days ago. But they update their page every two hours. Every two hours they update that page. And they actually are really out there trying to get somewhere with their investigations. They're offering $20,000 reward. And just like how I say, where's the footage of all this? They got it on tape. Where is it? You go to Chicago page. And they put out something once a month. Wait, where's Chicago page? Here goes Chicago page. Um, One month ago, two months ago. It's crazy. And when it's 10 a day, I mean, come on, man. They need to be putting down something every 10 minutes. All right, Jerry Buford, 33. 200 block of South Owing. May 12th. And um, take a look. This camera right there. <sighs> Saying something like this young man was hit like six times. Six. He's at his grandmother's house. Celebrated a birthday. His ninth birthday. Two days before this happened. He was at his grandmother's house enjoying like a birthday party or something like that for another family member or his birthday or something like that. Where he's just playing in the living room with his friends. And this is what happens. And we still are against... My, my thing is this. By any means necessary, no matter what it takes, I don't care what it takes, I don't care what they do, as long as this stops, yes, I'm tired of covering this dysfunction. I am. Who wouldn't be? But it's like normal to us. We like, eh. Told y'all. When I go to my cousin community, they like, no, 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 you ain't gonna bring that here, homeboy. Who are you? I'm writing your license plate down, and I'm gonna set you know that, that, that here's what I'm doing. Because you ain't finna bring that to here. We don't tolerate that. They would turn in they mama. They mothers would turn in they sons. And they would turn in their neighbors. They would turn in their family, friends, and say, hey, homeboy, you broke the law. Beat it. Because they know it's going to come knocking back at they door. They know this. They know they don't want their property value to shoot down. They don't want businesses. Downtown Chicago Millennium Park. Businesses lost hundreds of thousands of dollars. Families. And people were mad at Lloyd Lloyd Lightfoot. This ain't their problem downtown. Downtown is a shared, peace, well, a peaceful place. And some activists were saying, oh, you won't do that in our community. Well, if she did do that as far as a cur curfew, then y'all would be mad. But yes, it needs, to be a it needs to be a curfew in the communities. You outside, I'm even for stop and frisk. It's hundreds of guns. Back once upon a time, there was four or five guns for the whole hood. Now, each one of these youngsters got four or five guns. This is my motto here. Oh, are you going to cry and blame your oppressor before you get up off your knees and do it your goddamn self? Yes. It's okay that you're going to cry and blame your oppressor before you get up off your knees and do it your damn self. Ain't nobody coming to save you. Y'all could go downtown, beg Mary Lloyd Lightfoot. You could criticize Mary Lloyd Lightfoot, but nobody's coming. She offered you $450 and put cameras everywhere. In, in the Chinatown, there was one. Some random dude rolled down, bing, 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 hit one of them. Within 30 minutes, they had dude locked up. They took that footage, they took it to the They said, here's the description of the car, here's what he looked like, here go the license plates. Dude couldn't even get on the highway good before state police said, whoop. They ain't tolerating that in their neighborhood. They even came out and said, hey, take that to, oh, take that to Inglewood. Take that to Austin, because y'all could get away with it there. But you ain't going to bring that to my neighborhood. 
Until we stand up for our communities and make it stop, it ain't going to stop. It's not. Cameras, something. Do something. Something. With the young man, um, he did have, was uh, in a mentor program. And uh, I saw the young man, I think his name is uh, Vandale Singleton, had a mentor program in place with this young man. A lot of people um, were trying to help. He went to uh, Gary Coleman High School um, where they had the mentoring program. And y'all got to remember, these youngsters, y'all see, I got brought you, it's, it's 10 a weekend, close. And, and imagine how many funerals these youngsters have been to at 16 and 17. They honestly like, yo, here's my goal to make it to C21. And that is terrible. Anyway, I want you guys to like, comment, let me know what you think about this video. Peace, peace.